Hello everybody, how's it going today? My name is Joe Bedone and I'm a real estate agent. Uh, this particular video is the fourth installment in my first time home buyers video series. And in this video, we are going to cover the topic of what we call the inspection contingency, okay? Now, what the inspection contingency is, is it is a period, an allotment of time that is specified within the purchase agreement contract. Typically, in, in my area, it's typically between uh, seven to 10 days. And during this period, the home buyer has an opportunity to do their due diligence and investigate the property and make sure that the property uh, meets their criterion and is something that they want to move forward with um, and actually close the, the entire transaction. Now, during this seven to 10 days, essentially is kind of your, your last uh, get out of jail free card. During this time period, you can back out of the contract for any reason whatsoever, and you would retain your earnest money deposit. But once the contract, once you get past the inspection contingency, um, you're, you're kind of locked into the purchase agreement and you're, you're legally required to, to fill out the obligations written within that contract. So during this inspection contingency, this is when you're going to hire a certified home inspector. And me being your realtor, um, I will. I have a list of uh, home inspectors that I work with that I will provide you. If you want to provide your own, that's also fine. But basically, the home inspector will, the certified home inspector will come into the house during that seven to ten days, and they will do a professional um, inspection of the home. And during that inspection, they're, they're looking for what we in the industry call as defects. So it could be something wrong with the roof. It could be water damage. It could, it could be any number of problems with the house. Okay, And essentially what's going to happen is once that inspector is done doing their job, they will provide you with what we call an inspection report. And then going over that inspection report, you will have uh, detailed information of the condition of the property. Once you have the detailed information of the condition of the property, you'll have one of four options okay, available to you. The first option is, of course, if you look at that inspection report and something is listed on the report that's, that's really bad, uh, for example, like there might be asbestos or something in the house that, that's a hazard, a health hazard, and you might make the decision that you don't want to move forward with the transaction. So the first thing you can do is you can back out of the contract. And, you know, that actually has to be written, you know, writing. And me as a realtor, whoever your realtor is, will write up a document that they'll send to the listing agent and say that, you know what, we're done. We want to back out of the contract. That's option one. Option two is let's say the inspector finds a couple of things wrong with the property, but they're, they're not like deal breaking, but you know, maybe the roof needs some repair. Or maybe, maybe there's just repairs that need to be done in the house. Um, a couple things can happen in this case. First thing is uh, the seller and buyer can negotiate the, the price, the, the sales price of the home and lower the sales price to equal the amount of damage that need to be repaired. Sometimes if the price isn't negotiated, the buyer will negotiate what we call uh, concessions, which means um, the, the seller is going to cover some of the closing costs that the buyer is responsible for once when they actually close on the transaction. Okay. The third thing that can happen is maybe the seller says, you know what, I have a guy that can fix this, that, and the other thing, and they actually have to repair the dam, make sure the damages are repaired and brought up to satisfaction of the buyer. And the fourth thing you can do, and this sometimes happens, but um, let's say there's something wrong with the property and the price can't be negotiated and the seller refuses to fix the problem, but you still really want to buy the property. You don't want to back out. Um, you can also accept the house is, as is condition, meaning, um, you know what, don't, don't worry about fixing the roof. Don't worry about doing any of the tuck pointing or anything that's wrong with it. I'm just going to go ahead and move forward with the sale. And those are basically your four options um, during that inspection contingency. So I, I hope this cleared up some questions. Um, if you did receive value from this video, do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel and also uh, give it a thumbs up and perhaps leave a, a comment in the comment section with any questions, comments, or concerns. Okay. And secondly, if you are currently in the market to buy or sell your house and you reside within the state of Michigan, please feel free to reach out to me at Joe real deals at gmail.com and i would be glad to apply for the job of being your real estate agent uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time